So I want to show you how to make a really, really quick and easy toroid uh, for a Tesla coil. Um, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a PVC uh, cap from Home Depot. The one that I got is a for a 3-inch piece of PVC, 3-inch diameter PVC. That's an end cap. You're going to need a very, very cheap pack of hinge bolts. These go on your toilet. Uh, they're nylon, so they don't conduct really cool. You're only going to need one. Um, I prefer Marie Calendar pie pans. Um, they're rigid. They're not the really, really thin ones, and they're extremely light. So uh, anyway, I, I guess you can find them at Walmart. I had a whole bunch of them, but I'm sure they still make these. You're going to drill a hole the diameter <coughs> of your bolt, so it's going to fit through there like that. Um, you drill one hole there, and then you take the other pie pan, put it on top, and drill a hole through both of them so that the holes are identical in the same place. Pretty important there. Um, in one pie pan, you're going to put a wire, and uh, you can just leave it bare. I, I like to use terminal leads. Uh, then you're going to need to bolt that wire to one of the pie pans. This is going to be the pie pan that goes underneath that leads to the secondary. Put that aside. You're going to need a uh, four inch by six feet um, Home Depot aluminum ducting. Um, this I, I wasn't able I wasn't able in this particular one to get it to stick together well, so I went ahead and duct taped it. Should work fine. Um, but if you're lucky, you'll be able to get it stick well. Once you put these, put it all together, it will stay forever. Um, it's quite rigid. So I'm going to put that to the side. I've got my cap. I drill a hole the size of the washer there. Stick the washer all the way in. And then I get my pie pan with the um, wire. Stick that in there. Now I've got the bottom. Take my toroid that I've already gotten into a circle like that. Stick it on top. Take my other pie pan and stick that on top. Goes right through the hole. I've got a little bit left, just enough for this. You might have to pinch it down, that's okay. Just give it a good twist, and you're in business. I'm holding this. Uh, well, probably use a screwdriver, tighten it in a little bit more. Working. There you go. It's not want to behave. All right. There you go. Perfectly good toroid. Um, it's sealed all the way around. It's got good connection all the way around. It is not going to budge. If your toroid is is misshaped, all you have to do is squeeze it in a little bit, and it will conform to that pie pan almost perfectly. Um, I've tried this out on um, my other Tesla, my Tesla coil, and uh, I get two foot streamers out of it, and this thing really does a great job. Um, another thing that I noticed that was really good, there are small gaps here, perfect for placing um, little uh, carriage screws like this. You can actually put a carriage screw in there and screw it in, and you have a fantastic breakout point right there. Uh, looks fantastic, looks really good. You can get it a little bit tighter and actually screw it in, and it will not move. You can put multiple ones. You can put a whole bunch of them all around. So, uh, world's easiest toroid, super cheap. The duct probably costs as uh, probably the most expensive thing. I want to say that was maybe $11. Pie pans maybe run you a dollar a piece at Walmart. The uh, nylon hinge bolts, two bucks, and the screw cap maybe another dollar fifty or something. So. Um, extremely cheap, very durable. You can see, I mean, it's not falling apart. Uh, it's ready to go for a modular sort of just screw into your um, Tesla coil right there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it.